What is going on with y'all, man? It's your boy Max Flames. We are back again with another video today. And in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be trying to make a club banger kind of anthem beat, I guess you could say. Something that you would hear Meek Mill or Drake or g Easy, one of those artists on. Because the other day on my live, which if you guys haven't checked out my live streams, you are lacking, my boy. I was on my live the other day making a beat, and it really sounded something to me like something that you would hear in the clubs, something you'd be throwing your ones to while booties bouncing everywhere, you feel me? I need you to shut the hell up for the immediate future. I figured I would show you guys my process to make that kind of beat um, in a tutorial. So before we get into it, if you guys haven't already, follow my Instagram and Twitter at MaxFlames underscore. And also, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, please do not hesitate to like and subscribe down below. It helps out the channel a ton. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm in FL, I got a couple of sounds loaded up here, um, but first things first, I feel like the most important thing with any club beat um, is the BPM, so for anything that you want to go to the clubs, I would say anything from around 160 to maybe 180 or 190 at the very most um, would be like a club beat, so I'm going to go about 170. Eight for now I might change that later uh, anything in that range would be a club beat you don't want anything below that because it'll be like way too slow so moving on to the melody I have just a regular piano loaded up here in purity um, I feel like a big thing with club beats is that the melody is very simple um, and it uses very simple sounds like a piano or even like a bell or something like that I'm going to create a melody with this piano um, and then from there, we'll see where it gets us. So yeah, let's get it. So I just did Alt Q to quantize the notes. So that's kind of how I want the melody to go. Um, I'm going to add a note down below to kind of layer it more and then I'm going to move these notes a little bit off grid to kind of give it that realistic feel as if it's being played on a real piano if you're wondering how I move those notes off I just clicked on the note while holding alt at the same time so now you can move the notes off the grid like that so yeah um, so now I'm going to highlight this section and then do control B to paste it over another two bars and then at this last part, I'm going to, so I'm going to paste this over another four bars. And then with these bottom notes, this bottom D, I'm going to um, pitch it down or shift it down four notes. So one, two, three, four. I'm also going to do that with this top D, two, three, four. All right, so I just kind of layered these notes so that it sounds a little bit more full. Do control up and move this up a whole octave. Um, so now I have this brass plugin, it's called DSK Brass. Um, it is a free plugin, however, it doesn't let you export the sound. So I'm going to draw in the MIDI for this brass, and then I'm going to have to record it in the Edison and then have to use the audio file. So now I have to record it into Edison. So I'm going to turn off this piano right here. And then I'm going to click record on this. Now that I have this, I have to go up to here, go to edit properties and then tempo sync. 
After you do that, you want to click this icon right here, which is trim the side noise. I know this is the end of the eight bars right here, and this is the beginning, so we don't want this right here. So I have this magnet on to snap to the grid, so now I could just cut this whole part out. So now we have the brass melody right here. So that's going to be the clap that repeats like, you know, often like that. But then I'm also going to have a clap in here that um, I place where you usually place a clap. So. So now I'm going to add the hi-hat. So I'm just going to use this Pierre hi-hat here.
Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the beat. Um, I still gotta put my tag in it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna let this beat play out. If you guys enjoyed watching, please do not hesitate to like and subscribe down below. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna let the beat play out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.